Good greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play The Langrizer with me, Ataker Omega. And then we should allow the rather funky music to play as the opponents, enemies, monsters have their turn. Do you believe her eyes are still incredibly creepy? Well, to be fair, we do have Hain, so it all kind of balances out. Suck you things, those are going to. Good lord, I just said suck you things, didn't I? Those are going to charge blindly forwards in this half attack, half defend plan of theirs. Which we already established is terrible. So, what well played to them? I was a little worried one of them might just be in range to start doing some damage, but apparently we're fine. And it looks like the damage we inflicted with the Meteor was enough to keep that Minotaur still and keep Scott safe for a turn, that's important. Keith is going to have to fight against Elementals, which is not what he wants to do, but Angels are pretty damn good and they should be able to get that job done relatively well. There are other units which struggle more against Elementals. I believe Grenadiers struggle against Elementals because they are flying units, Grenadiers are footmen, and I think they have a slight advantage. Remember, in this game there's two types of advantage. There's clear advantage, like archers against air, or pikemen against horses, and there's slight advantage. And I think one of the slight advantages is flying units against soldiers. I think that's one of them. Some of them are bizarre, it's like sea units versus horses or something. I don't understand that one. But there you go. Lots of benefits to be aware of, and I only really know the strong ones. Because, I don't know, I just, they just don't make sense to me. I can't remember if Keith has learnt his fireball spell yet. If he has learnt fireball, then it might be worth tossing one out there just to make sure we pick off all the ogres. Their defense is pretty low and our attack is superb, but we do have some 9 HP angels, so if we have a fireball I'll use it. We do, very good. This will at least let the 9 HP angels do something, and the fireball still has an incredible AoE even with someone like Keith is using it. The disadvantage with Keith is that his range is short. So he can't aim it very far as it erupts from the dragon's wing, but the AoE of the attack is still enormous, whereas Hain can cast for miles and then it's enormous. So not not as good, but still very, very good. Make no mistake there. Try your luck with an elemental, just to see the kind of situation where we're in with them. We have far superior stats because of our stat bonuses. But if you look, 24-24 is better than an angel for base stats. Manly cries there from flame. I don't even know if it's dying, it just separates into smaller flames, which apparently just whittle away on the beach. But that's fine, they're, they're gone, I suppose. Still, Manly cries from a flame. Not sure what the programmers were doing when they, they thought, we've, we've got the new monster, we've, we've got here the elemental, we need to give it a death animation, just use the one for gels where it blows up into a thousand pieces, okay? And uh, we need a death sound. Just use the one for... I don't know, ogres? I think, I think it's slightly different. But still, they seem to have a, such an array of death cries that they end up using manly for a lot of monsters, which makes no sense. Now I'm curious as to what death cry the Anarchy's used. Because I got a feeling this death cry for the elementals might be the same as the anarchies. There's a thought. Thinking about anarchies not recommended, in all honesty. No, that's just normal soldier death cry, isn't it? Yes, yeah, of course. It's right. Not sure why I went off on quite such a long tangent talking about death cries there, but hey, when we're on part number 121, here's hoping. Then you start running out of things to talk about, so you start talking about death cries. Now, unfortunately, we didn't pick off this ogre, which means we have to watch him throw nine rocks. You've got to be disappointed if you're that ogre. So, I mean, he basically said, look, take nine free shots at me, and every time he hit, and every time it did nothing. You've got to be a little bit disappointed there. Need Shuri to keep moving, I need her area of influence to keep progressing forwards for me. Aaron can 
almost reached the beach. Maybe next turn he'll be able to get out of the water. We'll do a little bit of fighting with these bandits. Bandits versus elementals. Ooh, that's going to be a dodgy one. To be fair, succubus. There's only one of them I can say succubus. I just don't know what the plural is. You're mortal as well. As I will kindly demonstrate momentarily by killing you. Just because you're a monster doesn't mean you're immortal suddenly. Now it seems they're very good against my bandits, so I'm not going to attack with my bandits. I am, however, going to toss in another meteor now that I know that meteor will hit everything and will kill some skeletons and badly wound a lot of stuff. <laughs> No, I want to hit that commander, so there it is. No, I selected the wrong tile. This means I haven't hit that Minotaur commander, which I wanted to do. Which is a shame. But we'll live, we'll live. More importantly, we've made a dent in the sand. Wonderful. Now the archers are getting a little annoyed, going, Come on, Hain, we want to get into the fight. And Hain's going, No, I've got spells to throw down. And while well, they've got no legs to stand on. They just have to do as Hain wants there. That's great. You may as well give this a go. I don't expect much from you. If you were within Hain's influence, I would expect a lot from you, because Hain gives plus 14 attack. And that's serious attack. But it looks like out of influence they can hit. Once in a blue moon, which is handy to know, but not handy in combat. So he's hoping that doesn't die, even though it will. I'm going to let you give that a go, just because it's only seven of them, so you've got to toss a couple more axes this time before you all get killed. That's very nice. Axe beats fire. It's a lesson for us all. Next time your house catches fire, just run in there with a fire axe. Yeah, you go see, you've been clever now. Just run in there with a fire axe, just chop it down. Nice. Jobs are, jobs are good. Could kill this chap, but I want the experience of all of those ogres. But any chance to kill elementals, I'll take. Now, I'm not terrified of them like I'm terrified of anarchies, and I'm terrified of anarchies for a different reason. But it's important to knock their numbers down whenever you can, really. Don't let you get, don't let yourselves get overwhelmed by them. Because they're so quick, because they're flying units, they have such mobility, they can really just swoop around and pick off commanders. Gotta be careful. Now, these chaps I haven't mentioned, but Dark Guard. If you recall, when we first saw Burza on that level where we took down Bernhardt, he had a couple of red soldiers around him. I forgot what they were called. They may have been Berserkers, but they were red soldiers nonetheless. Now the monsters have red grenadiers. There's a pattern there. Basically, it gives the monsters some normal footman units, because pretty much all the monsters are either undead or horses. Like Cerberus are horses, Wolfmen are horses, there's a lot of horse monsters. But there's very few sort of soldier monsters that aren't also undead, and being undead is a class in its own. You can't, I'm not sure if you can be footman undead, but I think you're just called undead at that point. Which means Crusaders would have been great against those. That's about it. Trust me, Cherie's much better off with the bandits on this level. There's just not enough undead to warrant bringing out the Crusaders. If you're curious, the Elementals are not undead. They're monsters. Demons, I think, technically. No, they're flyers, aren't they? Yes, of course they are. They're monster flyers. Crusaders good against demons and the undead. There we go. I'll get it right one of these days. If I just say every possibility, then I must get it right at some point. And that does everyone for this turn. So, I'll let the computer have their fun. I do love the impact of a meteor upon beach. It just looks hilarious. It would seem that Dark Princess, Dark Princess, or Lena, has taken her battle tactics straight out of the book of Jessica. Enter the fight, look triumphant, talk boldly, and then... Sit still, buff your own units when you're miles out of the fight. It's not great, but it's a plan. Better to have a plan than to just charge blindly, I suppose. 
even if your plan's terrible. So we're just going to fireball herself because the AI prohibits them from just targeting tiles. All right, she's going to die horrifically because they have 10 defense. I'm going to claim this was a tactical plan because I knew they'd kill one of them, which means they wouldn't all die. Didn't really. And because now that thing is in range of the other two archers, which are within influence range. Which I only just noticed, and was not part of my plan. But now I'm claiming it was. So there we go, good plan by me. Gonna take some losses on the bandits, but that's fine. The bandits' job is to die anyway, so... Let the computer help my bandits die, it's fine. Leaving one bandit alive is more irritating than anything else because I can't use it in any feasible way and I don't, can't really waste three turns healing it back up. Elemental scared of angels, which is good, means we can take them down as slowly as we like. Gotta keep Keith safe though. If elementals attack Keith, he will kill a good few of them with his laser. Lightning, not laser. Good lord, why did I think that was a laser? He will kill a good few of them with his dragon lightning. But any ones that he doesn't kill will hit him. That's just the nature of Keith. If he doesn't kill everyone outright, he's going to take some damage. So I'll try to keep it back a little bit. Keep tossing the fireballs, I think is the best thing Keith can do here. So we shall do just that. He does have 10 MP, does old Keith, so he can... Toss in a good number of fireballs. Five, in fact. There you go help you out there and do some of the sums. You can toss in five fireballs per battle, which is good. And I see a message pop up that says scheduled scan started. So thanks AVG, wonderful. I'm going to have to cut the video off here then because otherwise it's going to get horrifically out of sync. So next video we'll continue with this fight. Hopefully you'll join me for that when the virus scan has been forcibly stopped. I'll see you then.